Hello, I'm Matt Guff from house.com, and I'm here with Nick Jacobson from Oakley. Nick, how you doing, bud? Good, how are you? It is a good day. Thanks for being here. Yeah. Nick is walking us through the 2018 line of goggles and helmets from Oakley, and this is the 18 canopy. It's been in the line for quite a long time. Yep. What is the story behind the canopy? So the big thing nowadays with the canopy, I mean, you're seeing so many so many frames with, with rimless designs, frameless designs. Um, the nice thing with the canopy is it still provides the full frame. Okay. So you've got the full protection all the way around. Um, the other thing with it is it's OTG compatible. So a lot of times with, with over the glass goggles, like you, end, you end up with that bigger picture frame looking frame. Mm -hmm. um, this is definitely an on-trend goggle with the notches and the availability to be RX compatible. Yeah. Man, no, um, this, is a, this is a goggle that's been uh, uh, in the line for a, for a while. What do you think is, it has made it so popular? So the big thing with this is, is for a while there was that race to bigger goggles, bigger goggles, bigger, bigger goggles. And the yep. big thing with this was we wanted to do optimized fit, not oversized fit. So as you have it on, you can kind of feel the faceplate doesn't yeah. feel like it's swallowing your face. It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't feel like it's up on my forehead or right. super far down but my chest. for chip. a full frame goggle, it provides quite a bit of upward and downward periphery and side to side. So yeah. especially with that, you know, that torque lens, you've got able to see out to the far ranges and edges, yep. but you still have the full frame all the way around. So again, some people like that look and, and that's kind of the, the, the niche it fills. For sure. sure. Now, what, what lens is in, uh, in the canopy? In the canopy, we're using prism lenses. So you see across all of our premium goggles. Yep. Okay, what, what, is, what does prism do? So the prism, what prism does is allows you to see things that you're missing, right? So what we did is we went out into the environment and we measured with a spectrometer the different lights that were in those situations and we figured out what the human eye was more perceptible to. So again, it's not just that we picked uh, color and stuck with it and said this is our color this is what you're using yeah um, we did it across the board and made sure that you know for different environments that we we're actually gonna have the proper tool for the job right you're not gonna hammer in a nail with a base you sure. don't want to you know pick the wrong lens <laughs> yeah peanut butter across the board right? right so we've got different lenses with different light transmissions across the board that's awesome. Now, now you were saying that it, it, it's an over over the glasses or OTG compatible style yeah. Um now, I noticed in the face foam this is well there's three la three layers of face foam there is, right yeah. um, how, how is this over the glass is compatible if the if the f foam isn't cut. So what we did is we actually cut the frame itself, so it actually gives right there. So okay. it gives you the ability to put the prescription eyewear in there without having that hard pressure point on the corners of your glasses. So that's right. Now it has good ventilation. I noticed like across the across the top, mm -hmm. underneath, and of course actually on the sides. Not very many people actually do the sides of the goggles. Yep. Why is there so much ventilation? So with that with that bigger face plate, we wanted to make sure that it was moving air across the lens itself and making sure that it was staying fog free. Sure. So with F3 anti-fog coating combined with the, the ample venting across it, you should have a, a no issues on that. Awesome. What's a, what's a, uh, the anti-fog coating? What is that? So is it just on the inside? Yeah, it's a coating we put on the inside of the lens that helps absorb moisture. Okay. Yep. Cool. That's a good looking goggle. Now, is this compatible well with uh, Oakley helmets or all helmets across the line? Yep, across the board. So th yep. that's one of the cool things about our goggles with, with where we're at in the industry. We've kind of been set as a benchmark on, on how they fit with different helmets and different uh, categories across the board. So being that we've been able to kind of touch everybody, we've got a good fit universally. Oh, awesome, man. Well, I've always been a fan of Oakley. They, they have great snow stuff. They have great summer stuff, glasses. Uh, you guys do it all well. And as we were just saying, like there's a lot of phenomenal athletes yeah. that, ride, that ride Oakley. Yeah, the performance of it is really the first and foremost thing that the athletes come to us looking for. We're able to provide it in a, in yeah. a package that's wrapped up nicely. Yeah, and one of my favorite, I, we won't say his name, but a guy who, who, ride, who used to ride with Oakley, no longer rides with Oakley, but he still rides Oakley goggles. Yeah, so you'll see, you'll see a lot of guys that are still using the product. You know, the straps sometimes get changed out, but you can tell. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny. Awesome. Well, Nick, thanks so much for being yep. here, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys have ever ridden the canopy or want to, leave a comment or a question below. And if you haven't done so already, remember to subscribe to the channel. Thanks again. See you on snow.